Hello there and a very good evening. Rain-swollen rivers in Bangladesh broke through at least four embankments, submerging dozens of villages and doubling the number of people fleeing their homes overnight to 400,000 in one of the worst floods in recent years. According to the officials, heavy rains and overflowing rivers have swamped 23 districts in northern and northwestern Bangladesh and at least 30 people have been killed since the floods began last week. An official in the flood-afflicted district of Bogra, Raihana Islam, said the government has opened more than 1,000 temporary shelters but not many people able to reach the shelters due to deep waters and lack of communications. Aside from concern over crops, authorities are also worried that rising flood waters could take a toll on livestock. Officials in Japan are looking offshore to moored cruise ships operating as floating hotels as Tokyo is facing a shortage of accommodation due to the upcoming arrival of Olympic fans to the Japanese capital for next year's Games. Predicting that Tokyo could be short as many as 14,000 rooms given an expected surge of Olympics-related tourism, local officials think one solution could be to put people up in giant ships temporarily docked off Tokyo and nearby Yokohama during the Games. Among those on board with the idea is Japan's largest travel agency, JTB, which has chartered the 1,011 Cabin Sun Princess for the Olympic period, complete with everything from jacuzzis to a theatre. The agency said it was confident about demand, partly due to the expected shortage of hotels of a certain standard. The Philippines earlier today asked Iran to free a Filipino crew member of a British-flagged tanker seized by Tehran's Revolutionary Guards. According to Iranian authorities, the Swedish-owned Stena Impero was seized in the Strait of Hormuz on Friday for colliding with a fishing boat. Philippine ambassador to Iran, Fred Santos, had contacted Iranian authorities to seek assurance that the Filipino seafarer is safe and will be released soon. Iranian authorities said the tanker has anchored off the port of Bandar Abbas with all its 23 crew aboard. And that ends the English news for today. I'm Shira Abamanso for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching.